Well, the politicians were unable to reach a deal in Brussels, but coalition ministers in Westminster have managed to reach a compromise on their green energy policy and how much extra it will cost consumers. They've unveiled plans for a multi-billion pound subsidy to support low-carbon renewable electricity production. The plans will add up to £100 onto the annual bill by 2020, but ministers argue it's a price worth paying for clean and secure energy in the future. Here's our science editor, Tom Clark. Just a few weeks till Christmas, and what George Osborne really wanted was gas power. Ed Davey dreamed of more low-carbon energy. But it turns out they're going to have to share. The row was over how to replace Britain's ageing energy infrastructure, each party believing their plan was best for consumers. The Lib Dems secured a multi-billion pound commitment to renewable energy, but had to concede a much-cherished target to remove planet-warming carbon dioxide from electricity generation. It leaves plenty of room for the Chancellor's gas plans. I think uh, the Coalition's come to a very good compromise. Um, it's true that the Chancellor and I didn't fully agree on decarbonisation target. Liberal Democrats haven't got everything that we want, nor have the Conservatives. That's how it works in Coalition. Mr Davey secured £7.6 billion worth of support for things like offshore wind farms, nuclear power and carbon storage schemes. Funded by consumers, it will mean higher bills. The average energy bill has more than doubled from £600 in 2004 to £1,300 this year. The government says its plan will add 7% or around £100 to bills by 2020. At the moment, the bill impact is very small, but it will grow. But over time, the great thing for the economy is we're going to get the jobs now, the investment now, the growth now, and that's what we really need. But critics argue leaving the door open for gas means consumers could end up paying twice, subsidising low carbon energy, but remaining exposed to gas price spikes. When you consider £100 went onto energy bills just last year from gas price hikes and you have the CBI and you have Ofgem saying gas prices are going up, in fact bills are going to be lower under a low carbon scenario than they are if we just allow ourselves to be continually dependent upon fossil fuels. But now the coalition can move forward and publish its long-awaited energy bill designed to tell big investors where to spend their money. Uh, I think the industry would say that it's taken longer than they would have liked to, uh, to get to the level of certainty that we have today. And investors are very, very conscious of, of the whole area of uncertainty. So I, th I think people have been sitting on their hands to a degree to see what's going to come out of the reform process. One reason Mr Davey toured the studios of Westminster this morning was to reassure investors the argument was over. The row between the Department of Energy and Treasury was becoming increasingly bitter and public. To the point it was putting off investment in any form of energy, green or otherwise. Today's compromise may not be the best deal for the British bill payer, but with investment in our energy system so urgently needed, it's arguably better than no deal at all. Tom Clark, Channel 4 News in Westminster.